Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Red Iguana Almond Tips Full Coverage Model 1's Black Solid Cream and AliExpress Chrome Powders. Yay! And I'll be using Creative Shop 17 and Bases Loaded Like Her Shutout. Here we go. So here's the box of the Red Iguana Almond Tips. I'll be using the Model 1's base coat on these. I will be applying these to my nails when I get done. Going back and forth over this, getting that base coat down. Get it on there, girl. I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. And then I'll be using the Model 1 Solid Nail. Solid, it's like, you know, the, the creams. I love these. These are like <laughs> so nice. I love these so much. And this is 001 is the color number, but... As you can see, it's this beautiful pitch black. Love it. Now, you can put chromes on all kind of colors, but I wanted to do it on this black today. So, I cured that for 60 seconds, and so now we're going in for a second coat. Just using a little gel brush. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love these, is the application is so nice and easy. A little bit more on my brush here. When you get done, you can clean your brush off. I wipe mine between some paper towels and then clean it with alcohol. Going to cure it another 60 seconds. I didn't wipe them with alcohol or anything. And now we're just going to go patting in these chromes and then kind of rubbing in a little bit. And I'm not really doing like, I'm not expecting my line between the two colors I use on each nail to be sharp. They're going to be blurred just a little bit. And then I'm going to flip it over and put the lid back on this purple one. You guys don't want to bump something like this and have it everywhere. And then we're going to go in with this silver. It's almost like a dirty silver in the, in the pot. But on the nail, I think it looks pretty silver. There we go. I'm going to rub that in there. I just wanted to play with these so bad. Could not wait. I was so excited. So there we go. We got purple and silver on that one. And then we're going to use this beautiful green. I couldn't pick a single color, so I decided to use most of them. I think there were two out of the group of them that I got that I didn't use in this manicure. You know, so many chrome powders and not enough nails. <laughs> oh goodness and then this beautiful pink loving loving these and then we're going to do a blue nail up on the top it's going to be blue and I just um, I, I know chrome powders are not new uh, it, I've got some but I wanted like colored ones like specific colors and that's why I had to get these. Look, that blue and gold looks so good together. So I just couldn't wait to play. So excited. All right. And then this one's kind of like a rose gold almost. I really like this. Like I said, I couldn't pick just one. I was like, ooh, ah, I love it. I want it. So that's why we're doing all this craziness here. And then the dark blue on the tip of that rose gold one. Oh, I like those colors together too. Chroming it up today. And then a purple. I think I was getting distracted there for a minute. Got this beautiful purple. Looks a little pink on the viewfinder, but it's purple. It really, really is purple. Flip that over and get some of this copper color I just was I was so excited it, it's just stupid how excited I was over this <laughs> so we burnished them in now I'm gonna go through with my little brush and dust them off dusting the excess off so that I can top coat them get out the extras the fallout out of here Yay. Now I am using the Model 1's uh, top coat. This is the shiny top coat. 
Of course, you want to put shiny on top of the chromes. Thankfully, it's leveling out. <laughs> Not looking so bumpy. I do like these top coats and base coats from Model 1s, though. Alright. So, I'm going to top coat all of them. I'm sliding them up into the lamp, but I'm going to hit the button go when they're all top coated. And then we're going to do some stamping on them because you guys know I'm in the room playing. I'd been sick for about a week and a half, two weeks. Just starting to feel better. And I, I needed to go play. I was seriously behind on my playing. And I'm showing the top coat and all of them because why not? You know, they're all different, so... And I think it's magic when, when the top coat goes on a manicure. Whether you're doing glossy or matte, it's like the magic point in a manicure for me. Oh, it's so pretty. Seeing all these colors and stuff just remind me of the 80s. We were so into our chrome outfits and, you know, puffy stuffs. <laughs> we liked that shock and awe. Stuff that would jump out at you. And this definitely, this these chromes jump off those nails in a big way. Yeah, big hair and all. You know what I'm saying? If you were from then, you, you understand. But if you're not, <laughs> I'm sure it's not too hard to find images with the big poofy hair and the blue mascara. <laughs> And I really liked this purple with the copper on it. Oh, who am I kidding? I liked all of them. <laughs> I did. I liked all of them. Alright. Alright, we're going to pop these in the lamp. We're going to give them 60 seconds to cure. I got the Creative Shop 17 out today. I'm going to use five different images because that's how I roll. I just, I want to see what all the different ones look like. It's such a pretty plate. I love the Creative Shop plates. And we're going to be using Bases Loaded Lacquer Shutout to stamp with. i got a Monocle Stamper from Anyology out and my H. La Corsador Scraper. So here we go. Let's get into it. Roll it. Pick it up. And then make sure I'm covering the whole nail. There we go. And these red iguana tips also came from my friend Omnia over at Omnia's Wish. If I can remember, I'll try to leave a link for her down below. Um, they're, uh, and I had never tried the red iguana ones, so it was really cool to be able to, you know, play with some of them. Really like that image on it. I do clean my stamper off on a lint roller. You do not want to use acetone on these clear stampers. It will make them unclear for sure. Trust me, I've done it. So fair warning. Butterfly wing going over that one. Oh, just loving these. All right, now to pick another image. Come on. We're gonna flip that plate over and get this horse head here. There we go. I love, love, love this. This is so much fun. I'm going to have to play with these some more. Go play them with them some more. I'm going to flip it back over and go for these little, like, plant-looking things here in the corner. Put it on that little skinny pinky nail. Love it. Alright, time for cleanup. We're going to get our scraper card cleaned up. Get this plate cleaned up so we can put it away for next time. Flip that cotton ball over. Do some more wiping. And then I'll swipe over it with a lint-free wipe. Just kind of take the fogginess off of it. And then I'm going to top these all with the Model 1's glossy top coat again seal in that stamping woof get on it 
and I just love them. I love how every one of them turned out. I could wear a manicure like this that I'm going to wear, you know, all these mixed up together, but I could wear each and each one individually. I could put that on all the nails and love them. But you know, life's short. So much, so much to play with. Let's just do each nail different. Let each one be its own special little accent nail. God, I love these. I promise, I'm promising y'all, I love, love these. That little horse looks so cool. So nice. And so easy. This was just easy play in here. I didn't get frustrated with it at all. It was just like everything worked just like it should. Get this last one top coated. Yes, indeed. There we go. All right, we're going to cure them for 60 seconds. And then I've got my little glue tab on my fingernail. And we're going to stick these on. Oh, I love these claws. Love them. Love them. So here is my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.